Hey guys, um, it's Saturday. Don't mind my, if my hair's up, it's a mess, it's cool. Saturdays is when I do my chores and these people are being really loud outside, what the? I get my chores done, I do my little side projects, I make sure all my plants are still alive and thriving and I do some propagating and something new that I've been doing, ow, get out of here. Something new that I've been trying is propagating my string of bananas, which are somewhere on that shelf, but I think they're doing pretty okay. But when I was watching those videos, I feel like a lot of them are like 15 minutes long and ain't nobody got time to watch no 15 minute long video on how to propagate your plants. So this is going to be a super simplified version. It's actually going to be my pothos vines, something like these guys over here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you super quick, very compressed, very basic, very simple and easy to follow along. You literally can become a botanist after you watch this because it's so simple. They will live. If I can. Alright guys, so what you're going to look for on your vine to propagate are these little tiny nodes and that's where the roots are going to come out of and all you have to do is cut right below them and stick them in some water. So I'm going to find that little middle spot, there's a little node right next to it so I'm going to cut right in the middle. Um, I could have even cut that little segment as well to propagate as um, also but we're just going to show one for the simplicity of this video. So I'm using one hand, I'm going to cut it right there, it's going to fall to the floor and that's the, uh, that's the section that we're going to use to propagate. Um, so these little node thingies are where the roots come out of. Some people try to separate it as much as possible and remove the, the leaves from it so the plant really focuses on putting out roots instead of extending um, the leaves on there. But because this one already has this little baby one coming out of it, I'm just going to leave it attached. So all you have to do is plop it in some water. Simple little tap water work and voila! Alrighty. Okay, so now you're going to walk your plant over to its propagation station. And you're just going to set it up there. Um, it has pretty bright indirect light and that's what you want. Um, you're just going to wait leave it up on here and eventually it's gonna look something like this the water level will evaporate so you got to make sure you fill it back up and maybe change it out once a week but that's pretty much it now I'm gonna get your get my soil I'm gonna take all these roots out this is probably a month or two so you want to make sure the roots are pretty established you don't want to wait uh, too long or you don't want to propagate them into soil too soon so I'm just gonna soften this baby up make some holes and pretty much just stick them in there and cover them with soil. I'm not really sure if there's a specific soil you should use for this but I'm just using a cactus and succulent soil because that has really good drainage so I don't have to worry about the plants roots sitting in like damp soil and rotting because that's probably the biggest reason why house plants die. Once that's all done, I'll again cover it with a little bit more soil, make sure it's um, nice and sturdy in there and compact because I don't want the, the plant to fall out easily or be flopping around. So we're going to press it down a little bit and then I'm going to water it. I'm going to give it its first good soak. Don't overfill it because it will spill over the sides. So just fill it up with water and then stop. Wait for the water level to go down on the soil and repeat. And I pretty much do pretty much do that until the water um, drains out the bottom. That's when I know it's thoroughly watered. And yeah, you just let it 
let it do its thing. You're good, you're set. So let that drain out of my sink. I'll show you um, here what the propagated babies look like after some time. So they're pretty happy there. And then eventually more time will pass and it'll be nice and bushy and start vining out. So there you go, there you have it. See, I told you it was easy. <laughs> okay, that was corny. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Get to it, happy planting, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.